I'm going to show you how I measure the HFE of germanium transistors and match them. Uh, so I have this little device right here. First, I'm going to take my transistors that I'm going to measure out. You want to leave them in the room for about an hour or so. You want to try to keep the temperature consistent, maybe close the door in a room so air is not circulating. And then you want to measure them the whole batch at once uh, because the temperature in the room changes, which changes the measurements. I have a temperature gauge here. It's 67.8 degrees. I've put that on there to record it so that I can compare it to other batches um, because at a colder temperature, these are going to read lower. At a higher temperature, these will read higher. Um, so you basically um, are never going to get an accurate, like a perfect accurate HFE. So that's why you, or the most accurate way is you measure them all at once and then you can see like this like basically within this batch here are my high ones and here are my low ones and so i've got this in the tester i'm gonna push this button and then it tells me these are npns and the hfe is 59 on that so i'm going to take this out put my other one in and i'm going to remember 59 Now I will write the HFE on top of here. Whoops. 59. I'll put it on my little cardboard slot here. This is just cut up cardboard. Works perfectly. 59. And it took some time to do that. So while it did, this has been cooling off because when I touched it, it warmed it up and raise the HFE. So now it's cooled down a bit, and I'll test this one. 69. So that's how I do that. Um, I've heard people say, some people don't like to use these because they say they're not as accurate. Uh, these don't tell you the leakage. Um, there's another way to do it, which I'm not gonna get into, but it's more time consuming. And uh, when I measured it that way and compared it to this, this is very consistent. Um, it's only differs slightly, but it's accurate within the batch. Um, so I like using these. And this doesn't tell you the leakage, but if you have a leaky transistor, like if it's excessively leakage, leaky, this thing won't test it. It'll say error. Um, and also when you put it in a test jig, I have a jig somewhere where I put these transistors in and test them before I put them in a pedal, you'll hear it sounds really uh, staticky and fuzzy.